I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any means, but something just isn't right. This particular video is a little bit different from the ones that we normally do because there's something that's just bothering me. With the recent events that transpired regarding former President Trump and his assassination attempt, there are some things that just don't really sit well. And having heard other people say the same thing, it's kind of just emboldened me to say, you know, yeah, you know what? Because you sit and think about this. Now, the most protected person, the most protected space on earth is wherever the president is and in and because of that it's also it's supposed to be the possible or potential future president they get the they garner the same level of of protection especially the closer you get to the election now obviously a presidential candidate is not going to have the same level of protection as an, an actual president but still when you have the secret service there and oftentimes you have a secret service there who might also use especially in this case they might use a, a local police department's um, sniper team, if they come to Dallas or New York or LA, they might use their team. They have snipers there also. And so it just makes it easier logistically. And I think, I'm not, now I'm not totally sure when it's actually the president, if the Secret Service are all the ones that are used. But I do know this, that it's the Secret Service that coordinates this. And the more you think about this, there are some things about it. It just, it just seems fishy. For example, You've got snipers that are on the roof who we see them behind uh, Donald Trump. they are two men. They don't move in turn. What I mean by move, they don't move their their rifles. It's not like they are aiming this way. And then all of a sudden the shots ring out and they turn this way. No, where they shoot is where their rifles had already been trained. So the question is, why didn't you already shoot? Now, I'm, I'm just these are just things in my head. And there's a, apparently a report or there's this person, um, I won't say the person's name, uh, who is apparently this person. I'm not sure if it's, it's accurate, but it makes sense if it is where he's stating that he was told by Secret Service to stand down and not to take him out. If that's the if that's the case, one, it kind of makes sense. And if so, that is despicable. And so we need to pray for this country. Why? Because if something is behind that, in other words, someone allowed this young man to come in and do this, because obviously the the, narr the narrative has to be, if someone is actually behind it, the narrative has to be that this is a lone shooter. We, we, we've seen lone shooters in the past, right? Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, Oswald, and they tend to have three, three names, Lee Harvey Oswald, or um, uh, what's the one that assassinated Kennedy, uh, the one that assassinated... Uh, uh, Lincoln, the one that assassinated uh, Martin Luther King Jr., and now this person. And so now I don't know if that's some just just coincidence. Obviously, people have middle names so forth, so I'm not making a big deal out of that. But still, they're all said to be lone shooters. They acted alone, and then maybe they did, maybe they did not. I don't know. I don't have as I don't have any information. I don't have any more information than maybe you do. But a 20 year old kid who. He's working at some sort of nursing home. He's not all that advanced in terms of his thinking and logistics and so forth. He gets in inside of an area where the Secret Service has to have done their detail. They they are supposed to look and see where the threats are. And anyone, a, a fifth grader, a 10th grader would have said, hey, listen, that building right there, rather than leaving it unoccupied and not looking at it. Matter of fact, you probably would have had people, snipers on there as well. And you've got other people that are calling this out. There's just some problems with this all around. So I want I want to play this little this little time this timeline this countdown to show some of the things that are happening. Let you look at it, it to, to help you to see why I am not getting the right kind of vibe. Now, I'm going to cut off part parts of it. I want to play all the way through, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of what's happening on the ground. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look, Gary is right there. Right there, see him. So what we have are these people that are saying right when Trump is up at the same time, what's happening other places. And there are people that are pointing out that there is somebody on the roof moving with a rifle, how they don't see it. Again, there are trained men, men with their guns trained on that area that they don't see this. There are people pointing over that area, pointing. There it is. There, there's got to be something on the chatter, on the walkie talkies, on their on their on their communications to say that, hey, there's something going on. Somebody's got to be talking to someone, even if they don't get it instantaneously, 
Listen to how long it takes for them, as they're pointing this out, for the actual shots to ring out. He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. Oh, he's I'm here with you fighting like hell to get a center. What's happening? And just make sure we take back the White House, because if we do, we're going to make America better than ever before. We're going to make it. Yeah, look. And there he is. Because we have millions and millions of people in our country that shouldn't be here. Because these teleprompters are now, so I don't know if you notice, you, people look over there looking, and you hear one guy say, officer. Another guy is reported to have said, telling the officers, they see him climb down from one roof top to get onto it to that particular rooftop with his rifle and no one's communicating this and the guy's like why is trump even still there speaking there's a threat there i try and explain that oh it is it wow you guys are doing it they're getting better with time my guys take a look at that chart take a look at the arrow on the bottom see the big red red arrow right so that's when i left office that was the lowest point and that comes right from the Government services comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that so we're at this point. We are a minute, almost a minute and a half into this. They should have responded a lot better. And so it just makes makes you wonder who's not getting the information or are they getting the information? And what are they doing with it? This is where the fishiness, the smell is starting to come in. So that arrow is the lowest amount of. <laughs> So almost up to two minutes, we see this taking place. That does, there's something that just doesn't seem right now. Me, let me just, this is clear about the Bible. This is what I what the Bible says. And you've experienced this. I've experienced this. Again, I've been to the worst of the worst with the worst of the worst. And I've seen their hearts. Men will devise all sorts of things, evil things, wicked things, because they just don't like people. I've been in a place where people will take uh, baby oil or cheese put it in the microwave and stir it and stir it and stir it till it's good and boiling. And because a guy cut in front of them, because a guy said the wrong thing, because a guy disrespect, because a guy turned the station on the TV in the TV room, throw the boiling cheese on the person's face with a baby oil. And as it's coming down, the, their skin is coming off. I've seen the worst of the worst. And the Bible says, this is what God says. He says, the heart is more deceitful than all else and is desperately sick who can understand it? That's the mind of human beings. That's the heart of human beings to do things. And so my question is, Is are there some sick individuals that are, I don't know, are, are you allowing this? What's happening? Is someone just asleep at the wheel, either unintentionally or intentionally? Is this more than just a lapse of protocol? There were mistakes made or it, it, it just seems like there's something wrong. Now, one of my favorite, and I'm not Pentecostal, one of my favorite Pentecostals, uh, Bishop Wooden, expressed the same sort of concern and the way he said it, hey, listen, this is why I love this man. Uh, to your, of your politics, some things are above politics. Um, I have, I have many questions. I don't understand how anyone could get within 130 yards of a former president and a major candidate with a AR gun and the Secret Service not know it. I don't understand how people can be at the event, could be at the event telling them that man has a gun. The regular folks see it, see him, but the authorities don't. Now everybody's eyes work the same way. And they see the man climbing the wall and point it out, say so he has a gun. And no one sees it until he fires a shot. Um, if there is something in you that would cause you to rejoice when you see something like that, you need to be saved. There's something wrong with you. This part he's speaking of, there are people that are rejoicing over this. There are people that have said some evil, wicked things. Again, the heart is desperately sick. If you are that kind of person, like he says, you just need to be saved. And it, and it, and it doesn't matter the politics. Doesn't matter the politics. I don't want to see President Biden shot by no one. No, sir. I had a problem doing President Obama's reign when he was president. I had a problem with all these new movies coming out. White House down and this down. The president getting shot. 
You know, what is, what is, what is, what is this? This is not good. And um, uh, Can I say something about those kind of movies, though? You watch those movies, and there are certain things that happen. You say, well, that couldn't happen because... The Secret Service, the FBI, they just wouldn't allow that. They're not that, you know, they 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 allow in these movies things to happen. And, you know, the way, first of all, it defies logic. But in real life, these wouldn't happen because the Secret Service would be more on top of it. But I get it for the sake of the movie. But is life now imitating art where the CIA is now that bung bungling or is there something intentional, something sinister, something just doesn't seem right? Uh, I just, you know... I, you know, I don't. I don't want to say too much because I don't know any more than you know. But I don't see how that's possible. That a shooter, a twenty-year-old, a twenty-year-old shooter, the boy with no, his last name Crooks, no longer than twenty, old, no older than twenty, could get on the roof of a building hundred and thirty yards away and have a direct sight. And um, and, uh, and 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 the, all those Secret Service agents didn't see it. And I do know that the Trump campaign has requested more Secret Service agents on more than one occasion. And it, with every request, they've been turned down. I don't know if you all have seen this where they're talking about not just the lapse in judgment, but the who, who the agents that were there. One of the issues, one of the protocols is that your Secret Service agents have to be above a certain height in regards to who they're protecting, why, so that they could also shield the president. In other words, we have a, Donald Trump is, is fairly tall. I think he's six three, six four, somewhere in that area. And so you don't want to have guys that are five, seven, five, eight, or even six feet who cannot shield him. You want someone not just with their hands, but to be able to be a shield. And so you got these women. I'm not against women being Secret Service agents, but we do have this lady who's in charge who decides that she wants 30 percent of the agency to be women. Well, it'd be different if they were the best of women. These women and their videos out there where you see them, one is struggling to holster her gun. Another one is as they're going down to protect the president. She's about, I don't know, two, three feet behind. It's like she's hiding behind them instead of covering the president. It, 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 these aren't necessarily, it doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like the best of the women. Me personally, I want the guy that could, if need be, he could pick me up. I need the guy that I can trust. And I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be uh, chauvinistic or, or anti-feminine or anything like that. I'm sorry, not going to promote a, fem a feminist agenda, but We've got a problem with these with the, with if these are the women that you want, get rid of them. If that's what if that's what you want to do, if that's your DEI version of the C, of the CIA or Secret Service, that needs to be stopped. And she needs to be called to the carpet. She needs to be fired. I bet they'll give them more now. And after the conviction, you know, they tried to get his Secret Service detail removed. Now, regardless of how you feel in America, we beat. Our, our opponents, or we def or they beat us at the ballot box, not by shooting them, and things of that nature. We should, as I echo what he says, with, beat them with ballots, not bullets. And you never would have thought that would have been the case. Maybe we need to go back and, and investigate were these political opponents that assassinated presidents. Now, some of the cases we do that they were actual political opponents that were behind it, but some of the ones that are unsolved, maybe we need to start looking in a different place. That is not good at all. I will say this too, and then I'm going to preach. It blessed me in, in a day where preachers have made a mint, they made a fortune. Um, Bishop Jakes made a fortune telling men to take the S off their chest. Made, made a fortune telling us you know, you've been hurt. You've been hurt. Making crybabies out of men. There's nothing now to turn the television on. You see these shows, black man sitting there crying and crying. Making cry. Now, we never bought that here. When, when, when it was popular, uh, I didn't go along with that because, not that men don't cry, but because uh, we do. But men aren't women. Amen. And men don't, they ain't supposed to handle things like uh, a woman. Um, you have to man up right. and, uh, whether now this he's preaching to me, I, this is, it just did my soul good to hear this. It, and I love this thing because again, I, I'm, I'll let you know, if you don't know, men are different than women inside and out. Amen. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. Whether it was President Trump, former President Trump, or had it been President Biden, any man that can get shot and get back on his feet and show defiance and say, fight as a man, as a man, that moved me. Praise the Lord. Yeah, say what you want. Say what you want. But that, that scene there. That was awesome. I don't care who you are. If, if Biden would have done it, I don't think Biden would have done it, but whoever would have won to do that, that tells you about who you are. Yeah, this wasn't staged. This was someone trying to take him out. And what does he do? He gets up, you know, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, wait, 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 fight, fight, fight. That, that says a lot to men, especially real men. Now, there are some men who tend to be a little bit weak ish and there are some women and so listen now as a matter of fact i think that most women also will like that too but if you are one of the more you know softer women or more one of the more uh weaker ish men that probably wouldn't wouldn't resonate with you but for most men for most men and really i think for most women that would resonate to see a strong male figure up there like that regardless of what you think about his politics um or his uh yeah he, he's told some lies he's fabricated some things he's hyper He's uh, spoken in serious hyperbolic ways and, and, and said some things, but then again, they all have. And so I'm not here just to promote that, but what I saw, that made sense. Now, what's the issue? Why? Court, well, leave the politics alone. Well, no, because if this is true, that there's something more sinister behind that, we need prayer in this country. Because if someone is going to do that to you, the potential president, who they don't like. They don't like your ways. They don't like your politics. They don't like how you stand on certain issues. Church, what do you think those very same people will do to you? They don't like your ways. They don't like your stance. They don't like your policy agenda. And I don't mean that you are for higher taxes or lower taxes. You have a, uh, a tight money policy as it relates to the Fed, things like that. No. Are you a Keynesian uh, economist? No. Uh, what, what, what do you, how do you feel about tariffs and so forth? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about things that the Bible speaks of, you know, between it regarding the sanctity of marriage between a man and a woman about the uh, the preciousness of life and babies not being aborted. If they don't like that about him and he's been given a serve, a secret service detail, what about us who are believers? The time is going to come where we are going to, the church here in America is going to begin to be persecuted. You're starting to see it happen already to the tune that you see in other countries. Will it be like it is in certain Muslim majority countries? I don't know. I hope not, at least not during my lifetime. And so this is where you ought to pray. Something about that seems fishy. And if it's happening at the top levels, what's going to happen at the levels that we are? Here we are, regular believers who don't have a detail. What's going to happen? What's going to happen when you stand? And we've seen people stand on the corner, preach the gospel with their Bibles and get arrested. We've seen those things happen. We've seen people who stand in line who try to prevent or who who are at least passing out uh, information to people going into these abortion clinics. They're not trying to stop them or fight them. They're not trying to, I'm talking about someone that's trying to blow up a building because by the way, that's the rarity. Most people who are against abortions have never done anything like that. But I'm saying that you're telling someone about Jesus Christ and they get arrested. I mean, and brought up on federal charges or someone who wants to tell someone about how to overcome their struggles with homosexuality and they have outlawed it in various states and now you can be arrested for that. So that's the problem. That's what we need to pray for. So you being a Christian and this is where we're going to find out how much of a Christian are we because the persecution is coming. And so that's why I say that this is bothersome, not on just a political level. It's bothersome even on a political level because, wow, you should not expect those things to happen. But we've seen things like that happen, even with this particular person, Donald Trump things happening to him that would not have happened to anyone else. And so if it's happening to him and they dislike him so much and a lot of his policies are promoted or pushed by us because he, again, he's not, I don't think he's a Christian. I think he's trying to cater to the Christian uh, voters. Fine. 
I don't have a problem with that either because he's he should be a tool for us to use. But if they're going to do that to him, what's going to happen to us? Are they going to come at us in that regard? And so for that reason, we need to pray for this country. And I mean every day as often as we can. Lord, hold back your hand. That's part of the prayer. Keep us from evil. And so the evil might actually even be the country, the powers behind uh, who's leading this country. Yeah. So if you're like me, some things, some things just aren't adding up. And you hear people who, who have either been in secret service, who were snipers in the army, snipers in other countries, like this doesn't make any sort of sense whatsoever. You've got 130 yards between the president and this person on a roof, an elevated level, and you don't secure that. You don't You don't even put someone on there. You don't have snipers there. Remember, the snipers do not move their guns previous to shooting him. So it seems to me that they were already trained. And if, if the rumors are true that he did request to, to engage and they told him for a minute or two or three not to, that says a lot. And and I know some folks are saying there's some suspicious movement from the people from the in the audience and suspicious movement from some of the agents. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that there's enough there for all of us to be concerned. This should never have happened. And so I think maybe the good thing is I don't think that the current administration is going to get to the bottom of it. I don't think the current administration wants to get to the bottom of it. And so if there's a change of power and Trump becomes president, irrespective of how you feel politically one thing you can you can rest assured he is going to find out who tried to kill him he is going to move any and everything to make sure if there was a conspiracy behind him and again i do not like conspiracies i'm not a conspiracy theorist but if this is one wow and so for that reason let's just be in prayer for our country and really for our world amen mm -hmm.